I now want to bring forth a friend who has, well, he is deceptive in that his social style is of such. One can miss his seriousness and his commitment for their success is beyond argument. Well, when we opened this Wall Street project and we talked about it, you gave us space at 40 Wall Street, which was to make a statement about are having a presence there. And uh, beyond that, in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too. And created for many people a comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York because he has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of uh, of style oh, and his uh, pizzazz. He's a serious person who is an effective builder of building for the builder of people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump uh, for a few minutes challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump. Well, it is an honor to be here, and uh, I was with Jesse last year, and we had a lot of fun, and it was a little different. Jesse started off by saying, most of the wealth in this country is in the hands of a few. And I thought to myself, is that a bad thing? What's wrong with that, Jesse? But he did have an expression last year, and I loved, I was just telling Roger. He had an expression last year, the wall on wall must fall. And you haven't used it today, and I'm very disappointed in this, Jesse, because I thought it was a great expression. And I heard the expression about 14 times, and then he came to me at the end of the session, and he said, listen, I want some office space in your building on Wall Street, because the wall on wall will fall. And I said, it's okay, Jesse, I'll make a good deal with you. I'll get you some space. You'll pay about $40 a foot. And he said, no, I don't want to pay 40. I said, how about 30? No. It was the cheapest deal I ever made in the history of 40 Wall Street. Is that right? He got it for nothing. He's a very tough negotiator. We know that, right? Nah, he's a terrific guy. We love him, and I'm here for him. And the snow came, and I said, gee, nobody's going to show up, and look at this place. It's packed. Well, i just say a few words. I mean, Wall Street and New York City and this whole region is doing unbelievably well. I'm building a job on the west side, which is the largest job ever approved by the New York City Planning Commission. You see it going up along the west side highway. It's almost 10 million square feet. It's 18 buildings, and it's really going to be something. I will tell you, a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have close to 25%, and I think the number's going up, and they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions. And then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today, because if you look outside, it is terrible. But we'll figure a way. There's always a way. And thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. And with all of that wealth, Trump wants a free ticket to the uh, family.